this is all device to device uh, uh, communication. So this is kind of like, uh, uh, like I said, it's ham radio adjacent, uh, great for off grid use. If you're doing like some sort of event or something and you want some kind of communication at the event where you're, you know, have your, your kind of local communication area or uh, like we are trying to set up, you know, kind of like a, an island wide mesh as well. So these things can all work together um, basically at the same time. So this kind of shows a little bit this diagram at the bottom here. I don't Oh, you guys can't see my mouse. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, the device themselves, obviously, these ones in the photographs don't have keyboards, you actually would use Bluetooth to connect to it with your phone and you use an app on your phone, uh, much like text messaging to then send the message. And then that message would be relayed uh, through the mesh to its recipient. So kind of brief looking at how a mesh network works. And again, this is this is a very basic uh, um, introduction to mesh tastic. So this is for people that don't have any kind of, you know, indication of what this whole thing is. And this diagram at the bottom looks a little bit messy, but we'll kind of do a quick go through of it. Um, so e like I said, each node relays the message. It is no central inf infrastructure. It uh, doesn't rely on cell phone towers or um, a repeater, um, anything like that. Uh, it automatically discovers other devices in the area. So they're kind of uh, self-aware, let's call it. Um, as the messages are delivered uh, using multi-hop. So like I said, like, you know, one device goes sends a message through the other devices to get to its recipient. Uh, we call those hops. So you'll see later on in the app, it'll actually show you um, which, how many hops it took to get to its destination. Some popular devices. Uh, so basically we got quite a bit on the screen here. Um, We'll start at the top. So these three devices are kind of the uh, uh, what I would call the the go-to devices. Maybe they shouldn't be, but maybe they should be. I don't know. It's up to the user. There's so many different varieties of use cases. It's uh, it's it's hard to to pin something out. I have multiple of these devices, and uh, I'm sure that you will too. 